What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here to chat about some brand new fall activewear. Affordable activewear with one of our favorites, Camel Fitness. They're dropping their brand new fall collection and well, you know, the term fall and I, we know each other, we love each other. I've been saying this for years. Camel Fitness is the perfect blend of quality and affordability. Now they are on Amazon, but I do personally feel like they're a step above your traditional Amazon brands. Their feather light leggings, which we're gonna be talking about right now in this video are becoming staples for me. So today we're chatting about their brand new full collection that's dropping October 27th. And of course I do have my support code, Ashley, that also acts as a 5% discount code as well. So feel free to use that at checkout. Thank you so much if you do, it does help to support this channel. Big thank you to Camo Fitness for sponsoring today's video and sending these pieces out for my honest review. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorites that I chose personally. I stuck to three major colors in this launch. We have sun-dried tomato. Fun fact, I actually hate sun-dried tomatoes. Are you even Italian, Ash? <laughs> Apparently not. I do love black olives though. I'll eat them on all 10 fingers. Blackberry wine. Now that's something I could get behind. <laughs> that rhymed. Wow, that did too. Orange. Let's talk about orange. This uh, color misled me a bit. No fault of their own because it doesn't say spicy orange. It doesn't say pumpkin orange, but it might as well have said sherbet orange because that's what I'm gathering from this color. Anybody else? It seems more of a summer shade than what I'm used to when it comes to fall shades. This is like an underripe pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? You planted the seed, it's early July, it's just hatching, it hasn't quite browned up yet. That's the orange, okay? That is a summer poppin' orange. Let's start with the leggings that I have. These are the Featherlight Enhanced 27 inch inseam leggings. Oh my god, you can really see that orange, it's bright as hell. You guys remember my previous reviews of Camo Fitness? I chatted about their Featherlight Enhanced leggings and I love them for many different reasons. I have it in sun dried tomato, orange, and blackberry wine. I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite color for demonstration purposes, sun-dried tomato. These leggings are true to the name. Feather light, they are. They're very, very lightweight. They're very breathable, very comfortable body fit leggings. So this legging is very low support, very light to moderate compression. They're thin, but not overly thin. You can see cellulite, especially in that orange color. I feel like it really enhanced <laughs> the cellulite on me, but it's because it was so light of a color. In these darker shades, I felt a lot more comfortable. This red, the deep purple, purple, <laughs> what? Purple Urkel. Purple Urkel. Steve Urkel got his own weight. Indeed. Purple lurk, okay. It looked a lot better. It was barely noticeable. There's no top seam in the waistband. Flat lying seam going right across the lower tummy. And of course you have that very slight V seam on the back, which I love. It really helps to highlight the glutes. The reason it's the enhanced legging, in case you don't remember from my past video, or if this is your first time seeing a camo fitness review from me, thanks for having on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. They have a built in scrunch, okay? They followed up on that trend that I personally love so much with that built-in elastic band on the seam, which just helps tucker it up in between places it definitely should be. At least for me, okay? This trend hit hard and it hit fast, and I'm here for it because it's a lot less noticeable, so much more discreet than those obnoxious scrunch bums, okay? You know which ones I'm talking about where you can actually see it from the outside. You can see from like a mile away. Like I'm pretty sure Mars can see it. So you got none of that here, just a very natural looking scrunch, not over the top, not gonna split you in two, but it does what it's supposed to do. Hey, yo, I'm rhyming up in here. Yes, they are a little long. Okay, 27 inches, you can just guess that they're a couple inches too long on me, but whatevs, all right? They look good on the peach and I'll live. You do have the printed tonal logo right on the back of the band. I squatted in my black undies. The red and the purple are extremely squat proof, but <laughs> As I'm sure you anticipated, the orange is just, just not squat proof. Even standing, you can see the outline of the black undies. So if you like the color, please keep that in mind. They're pretty dang sweat proof, which I'm super impressed by, given that they're so lightweight. Even on the lightest color orange, totally passable. It wasn't that bad, especially on that light of a color. This fabric is very brushed, very soft, very stretchy. Ooh. It's got that four-way stretch. You're good from the hips 
you're good in the length department. Like it stretches with your body everywhere. It's very comfortable to work out in. In case you're thinking about wearing them to the gym, you absolutely can do that. I don't typically wear brushed leggings to the gym. These are okay because they're lightweight enough. Sometimes, like with the older brushed camo leggings and brands like Buff Bunny Nubre, they're a little too thick. Too thick where it's just insulating and I'm uncomfortable. These are feather light and the perfect amount of breathability for me to comfortably work out in. My true size small A-okay. If you're in between, if you prefer a little more compression, you can size down. If you prefer less compression, especially around the waist, then you can size up if in between. These leggings are unique in that they can do both because there is a nice amount of stretch. Moving on to the Mia short sleeve top. These tops are the same exact material as the feather light leggings you just saw, so they blend effortlessly. It almost looks like a onesie. My number one concern when I ordered these is that these sleeves would be too tight and then I would regret ordering three of them. Thank goodness that wasn't the case. It was the first thing I felt for when I put it on. I was like, oh, thank God there's some slack here, come on. You have a really nice half zip. It's just a top, there's no built-in bra, no padding, anything like that. I personally love to wear it as a high neck. It is super body fit. You have a ton of contour seams. I like the fact that you can raise your arms and move around and it doesn't move up too much. I've had tops where I'm like, all of a sudden my, my bra is showing. I'm like, what the frig just happened here? These do stay intact fairly well, but I will say it starts to bunch a little bit in the midsection. You can anticipate a little bit of bunching and wrinkling right around that area. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Okay, there's a lot of bunching. But if you're just wearing this out casually, going for a walk, it should be okay. This would look super cute as a golfing top. Now, luckily this orange top isn't see-through. All right, I know the leggings work, especially if you wear darker underwear. Everything's a-okay when it comes to here. It's not too thin. If you have a tattoo on your stomach or your breasts or your shoulders or your back, you're gonna be a-okay in this one. On to the Mia high neck top, okay? So this is just like the short sleeves, just a different cut. You know how this top has the zip right here? I assumed that that's how it was on this one too. And I thought to myself, well, that, that's crazy. What's it gonna cover? <laughs> Duh, Ash, it's the back. This is the front now. Okay, now we're looking at the front. Honest to God, it was between getting a bunch of these or these, and I couldn't decide. I was literally looking at the order form like, I don't know which one should I go with, which one? Ugh, I'm so glad I went with these short sleeves because I love them. This one broke my heart just a little bit. A couple of reasons. It's beautiful, don't get it twisted. But because of this cut, this racer back cut on the back, that does mean you have to wear a racer back bra with it. Like I said, just like the crop top, this does not have any built in support so you have to wear something underneath it. You're very limited. If you don't have a racer back bra, you're just, you're gonna lose. <laughs> the top is gonna win. But if you're somebody who has a ton of racer back bras, wear it underneath here and it would look really cute. Showing off a little bit of lat back there. These tops absolutely can be worked out in. Like I said before, it does have that type of material. The nylon, the spandex, it works for that. And they're very comfortable. The high neck, it's not too tight where it's choking. For some odd reason, I feel like this top fits a little bit looser than these short sleeve tops. There's a little bit of excess material. It didn't quite hug me the way I wanted to. So if it's between the two tops, I'm absolutely rocking these short sleeve Mia tops. I think with these tops, I'm okay with my true size small. If in between, I'd probably gravitate towards sizing down rather than up. Before we hop into the flares, let's chat about the Serenity Nyla jacket. Now, I grabbed one in orange and purple. It's made of the same fabric as the other tops and the Featherlight leggings, but just a little bit more nylon, it actually feels a bit thicker, which is great, right? It's a bit more insulating, great for going out for that brisk walk. As you can see, we have a ton of very thick seamed contour going all around this piece. It's a full zip, high neck collar. You also have two front zip pockets. They're that seamless zip. You almost don't know if it's there or not till you look up close. Now you can fit your phone, thank goodness, because I don't know where I would put it. I mean, I suppose I can put it in the two inside pockets that they provide. You actually have some ventilation, some breathability, to the jacket in case you're working up a sweat. There's a nice mesh lining right underneath that flap. There is a satin loop that they added on top of that little flap. Now, I'm not really sure what the exact purpose of that is. Is it just an aesthetic, just a part of the design? Let me know if you're a runner. I'm assuming that this might help somehow. Well, one thing I do know for sure is they ripped off my loop on the orange one. He went to pull it up so you can see the mesh underneath and it ripped off. 
Oh, shit, it just broke right off. What the hell? So it was a little bit shocking that it ripped right off. So then I went ahead and grabbed the purple one, and I went ahead and I tugged as hard as I could. Hmm, and nothing. Explain yourself. I work out. <laughs> You work out. <laughs> okay. They do have thumb holes, which you know I love and I'm all about it. But one thing I did notice is that the sleeves are a bit long on me and they bunch at the wrists. I think out of all the tops, these are the most functional only because they don't really wrinkle or move around. They fit like a true jacket as they just lay over you, they hug your body. Whereas these more form fit tops, if you're really just adverse to any bunching or wrinkling around the midsection, you might wanna just grab the full length jackets. Plus if you live in a cooler climate area like me, this I can already wear now, okay? I'm cold. Closing the show with the Lovada Fold Flare Leggings. When I first got these in, I was like, oh my God. This reminds me of 2008. I remember I used to wear these fold leggings all the time. It was like my senior year of high school. Yeah, that's right. That's how old I am. Please don't unsubscribe. I promise I'm cool. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> <laughs> These are a 31 inch inseam. If you thought the 27 inch was long on me, the 31, it's pretty freaking long. With some chunky sneaks, sometimes they look like they didn't hit the floor. Most of the time it did. Now, if you look closely, it's different than the leggings. You actually have a T-seam in the back. Luckily, you don't really see it because the fold over kind of blocks that T-seam. You know I like a V-seam. I'm very picky when it comes to my glutes. This isn't the Enhance scrunch so you don't have an internal scrunch bum on these these are actually the same identical material as the long sleeve jackets you just saw similar to the rest of this drop these are just a tad thicker you can really feel that thickness when it comes to the band okay first and foremost do you see how long this band is they had to make it extra long to be able to comfortably fold over it comes up past my rib cage and touches the bottom of my toddies. It's crazy how long it is, but it works to fold over. They actually added in a tonal logo that's upside down so that when you roll it over, it's right side up. Cute little details like that. Do keep in mind, if you're looking to wear any of these body fit tops, the Mia tops on top of the flares, you will see this fold over band. I think that these flares were made for the zip jacket. Then you don't really see this chunky band underneath. I personally think the purple with the purple jacket looks so fall, so Halloween. You know how amusement parks, they'll do like Fright Night? Six Flags, for example, okay? They have their little Halloween Fright Fests and things like that. I feel like because these are nicely thick, with that long sleeve jacket, you can wear these at night to a Halloween themed something. This would be cozy, comfortable, and stylish. Everything is a 10 out of 10 when it comes to comfort. I know there's a lot of seams throughout, but I'm not feeling any. There's none digging in unnecessary places. So I think that they did a really nice job at making this functional for athleisure and or working out in the gym. If I had to be picky, okay, we already know how I feel about that orange shade. It's not ugly, but it's just not full. Aside from that, I do also feel like there's a little bit too much wrinkling in these active tops. Not the long sleeve jacket, that's like a 10 out of 10. These tops specifically have a little bit too much wrinkling. And I do wish those flares were just a bit shorter for me. But my tall gals, I mean, you're gonna have a field day with them. Other than that, great job as always. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.